Okay. Let's do this. We are back alive. <laughs> Hello, what a gag, and welcome back to my channel. I know, I know I've been gone for a, a long periodically time. <laughs> I know I've been gone for a long, long time, and I'm still going to be gone. It's just that I needed to finish up these videos that I had planned initially so that um, I can post them and then just take my mini break up until I get um, inspiration to start over again. But anyway, for those who do not know me, my name is Gugu Ngemdu, also known as Gugu the Skincare Guru. And here we do not play. We drink water because I'm a water for your daughter. Hey, I'm a water for your daughter. So we drink water here. We don't play, even though I am drinking something else um, because I've been drinking water. I literally have two bottles of water by my bedside. But anyway, as Kualapo, so today I'm coming in with a different video nothing skincare related as i have been doing for the past few months yeah i've fallen off the skincare wagon guys and at this point i think my channel will just be lifestyle and fun so today's video game it's about it's a story time it's about the time i nearly died at an event a capsule event so let me take you back to a few years ago i think it was um it was 2017. 2017, I've just freshly graduated. Um, my sister's living in Joburg and I was still freelancing at the time. I, I haven't started applying for a full-time job yet, a nine to five. So, um, so my sister used to live um, by Joburg CBD, like Elof Street. I, I know everyone knows this building. It's like yellow and blue. We used to live there. So, me, guys, me, you know, I love having a good time. I'm a lover of fun times. So, um, I was always on Twitter because obviously I'm at home. I'm not doing anything. So, I'm seeing all these things. So, um, was it Total Sports? I don't know, but they used um, influencers and promoters to promote the event called Capsule. So, Sports Scene was busy marketing this event and i was in there like mm, i finna go i want i really wanna go because the lineup was sick guys and at the time i was very obsessed with um aka ricky rick and what i didn't really care for asap ferg but i was like he's still like a good performer when i watch his videos so i'm like okay i wanna go so i launch i launch my girls um pelo and my sister i mean i'm always launching people guys even when there was this big uh club where young adults used to go i was the one person who was always launching my friends so this time i was launching pelo and we were close with pelo at the time and my sister i'm like guys come on let's go please can we go i really want to see um aka perform live because i've never seen him actually perform live so i was like i really want to see him perform live show my jaws yo guys i loved show my jaws yo i was obsessed and ricky rick was ricky rick performing that day if i remember correctly yeah and i was happy because casper new vest at the time i didn't like casper new vest i still don't because i don't yeah he wasn't performing nasty c was there yo guys <laughs> so i was like mm, no luke can we go because obviously she was the moreki at the time she was working so i'm like girl can we go and she's like listen i got you my sister's not interested but because i want to go she's like okay i'm down like i'll go with you hello hello you down hello yes um i think our one friend who used to who lived in Joburg at the time i don't know if we told her or she had we told her but she had something to do that day i can't remember exactly fine so back in those days again yeah, when we were in Joburg, um our friends meetings used to be on saturday so fine on the friday we talked so pelo what time are you gonna get here no because you guys are going to meetings she's like um i'll be there uh, on the saturday morning so that by the time you guys Nipuma is from doing like Nipuma at your meetings. I'll be at least close so that you guys can come get me at Gandhi Square. We're like, sure, solid plan. The Friday, I think she went out. She had initially went somewhere with her cousin. So, no, the week prior, 
she went to Durban. And we're like, oh, girls having a good time, whatever, whatever. Come Saturday, that morning, before, I think after or when we were on our way, coming back from his Mugel Miguel sends a text. Yeah, I won't talk about the tickets. Okay, the tickets, we, we bought them when we were in the Val. So, and luckily, guys, Tinage, we are those people, we tell our parents where we are going. Like, Dada, Mom, Sia, at an event called Do What, 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 Foot Minaba, they knew about AKA. They knew how um, how much I loved him. So, I'm like, we're going to an event on the 17th, or I don't remember the date exactly. I'll insert, like, a young fly or whatever. Yeah, so we're going there. Then we went to Valmo and my sister when, one weekend when we were here to go buy tickets at Sports Scene. So that, and then we told Pelu, like, we already bought our tickets. When are you buying yours? She's like, I'll buy it the Friday before the event. We're like, okay, cool. But they nearly sold out. She's like, yeah, nah, sure. I'll go buy it. Friday, she's like, I didn't get my ticket. I'll go Saturday morning. She's still uh, not telling us the full truth. Fine. Um, she, 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 the Saturday morning, like I said, again, when we were coming back, so we're coming back with our friend who lives in Joburg to our flat. So we're busy getting ready. Like, I mean, the outfit I had planned prior, guys, I planned my outfit for like two weeks. I think I was even fitting it to make sure everything looks cute. And I had bought hairpiece so that my sister can braid my hair. Well, Chronicles of Natural Hair because I don't miss that. Because this is why I cut my hair and I have this wig so that when I have bad hair days, but I'm never going back to my natural hair because it was a lot. I'm still trumps. So that's Saturday, fine. Oh, sister's pillow. She's like, um, guys, I, I tried to hustle money from my mom, so I can't make it. Um, don't, 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 eh, you guys know I went to Durban, um, wada, wada, bang, bang, washa, got some food. Me, I was kind of irritated, because I'm like, this Durban trip of yours, and then, fine, I understand you had fun, you spent man. I told you about this event, I think, guys, they started advertising it in June, and it was in October, so I'm like, I told you guys in time, so that we can start preparing for this, like, we just said, hustle ticket money, and hassle in my logoza because my sister has a place we'll go together and just you know let's just have fun um so she dropped us in the last minute so i was at, i was like um okay whatever like whoa i'm disappointed but yeah what can we say and after that i feel like she thought we were angry and that's when our relationship started getting rocky yeah oh sorry because my sister moved in Joburg in end of may yeah, she moved end of May. And then we went to that event in October. So after that, things were a bit hmm, on the rocky side. But we were still cool because when I see her at meetings, like she saw that I have nothing against. And then she got back to being the normal girl that I know. So fine. Me and my sister and our friend. Now busy is like, um, I mean, Pansy. I'm going to call her Pansy. Those who know, know who Pansy is. Um, so she's like, yo, now I'm kind of like interested. Like, I want to go. I can feel like you guys' excitement. You're like, mm, girl, you should have said, you could have bought your ticket a long time ago. I was talking about so in Kepa. She's like, nah, it's cool. I'll join you guys at some other event, which she did with the capsule after that. The next year, she did go with us, which, but that one didn't slip as much as this one. The Mary, guys, and it's funny that this event was at the Mary Fitzgerald Square. And at the time, I didn't even know that. A year later, I'll be working at the building right in front of Mary Fitzgerald Square. Like, literally, I'm working there now. I'm kind of like, mm, girl, you are here having a good time, and now you're working here. Like, maybe it was meant to be, <laughs> you know? So, fine. We get dressed. So, my sister did my braids, I think, that Thursday and Friday. She did my braids, the long braids. And then, so my, my, my outfit was, I wore... Um, mom jeans and then i bought i bought these brogue looking shoes at small street mm. um so i bought because i was initially looking for sneakers but like cheap sneakers guys i didn't care i just wanted something to look good and to go with my outfit so i just got those brogues and i remember my dad gave me money for those brogues and then i wore the see-through tank top it was a see-through tank top and I had a cute lacy bra at the at underneath that top. And then there's this night dress my sister got from a family friend a long time ago, but she never wore it. And I'm like, 
this night dress kind of looks like a kimono so i was like uh i think i'm gonna wear it because i kind of like it so i wore that and then at home when i was in the vial i took my mom's these old 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 school i'll insert pictures so that you guys can see those glasses and my outfit my mom's like they were cat eyes but they were this small they were so nice so i tied my hair in a band put on blue lipstick because the kimono had like navy blue and it's, it's navy blue and white so my outfit was cute and then i wore like a shoelace looking belt that is brown and then i wore my hoops guys me and hoops same don't don't group fine so me and my sister fine then busy i mean pansy left she left and went home so me and my sister we called an uber or did we is that the time no yeah we called a normal a normal uber called a normal uber and it was like i think 10 minutes to get there because obviously traffic from people trying to go into the event and that time me and my sister we haven't been to that side of joburg we don't know anything fine we get there and she's like, no, let's go draw money first because what if we can't get out so that we can go buy drinks? We go to, at the time I didn't know that place, but now I know Newtown Junction. So we go that side and we draw money by the market theater. We draw money and then it's time to go in. We show them our tickets. They give us our bands. So I, I, I guys, I mean, I hate that every time I'm going on holiday or is it an event? I'm always on my period. My period hates me. So at the time, I think I was on my period. So I had water in my little vintage looking bag. I had water because I didn't, I couldn't find a fanny pack. So I used that bag. I had water and like painkillers. But when we got to the security, they were like, no, you can't go in with this water. You have to buy water inside. I'm like, oh crap, that sucks. So I left the water by the gate. We go in. Guys, it was still pretty empty. Fine, my son, like, let's start by the drink stand. Because you, me and my son, <laughs> funny thing is, every time we at an event, we, we are a bit awkward. Like, we don't know where to go. And they had two stages, so we were quite confused. And everyone was, but guys, the, the outfits were out of this world. Like, the outfits were gorgeous. The screw screw, kids, for that time, screw screw was very big. People were looking cute. Uno Voya was wearing a, a lace looking dress, and then she, she had a jean jacket, and then she had maroonish braids and then she wore like army boots if i remember. yeah it was like army looking boots yeah and then she wore no more earrings and a choker yeah a choker this <laughs> fine we go and buy drinks another time i don't know what we like to drink me and my sister we were just buying whatever so i think we bought gin and tonic or gin and sprite yeah i don't know i can't remember so it was those jug looking mugs cups so i find we buy and then we started seeing people that we know i mean again on twitter i follow a lot of influencers i started seeing a lot of them half of them were sitting in the vip side so when we got there the twins on decks were on deck were djing so me and my sister we take our drinks we go by the stage me one thing about me and my sister you'll always find us by the stage we don't pay to come see people or come also strong uh, uh, uh. we are there to see the performances and to enjoy ourselves so we went by the stage where there's a few people we saw we all dancing guys i didn't know that the twins on deck were actually good djs i didn't know and me and my sister and my, you know my sister here yeah. no for you guys she can dance for days me again yeah, i am the hype queen yeah me i will hype you because i can't dance guys also the shoes i was wearing that day i i, I couldn't dance so i was just obviously just moving up but but now because now we're moving to, together as a sister duo the cameras would like literally move from everyone to me and my sister and imagine i mean i didn't see because i'm busy turning my back and i'm turning that way looking that way and then i see and i was like yo we are on screen ah. and then we stop for a moment and then we carry on and we dance because now music just like and i think they were playing like kind of like old school music old school house music now we're dancing we're dancing and then the camera again it turns and goes towards us for the time and now everyone on the vip era is starting to see us and they are starting to look this side and they are starting to hype me and my sister we were like oh girl mm, <laughs> what are we gonna do now but we carried on like as long as we are together and for the first it was the first event we literally attended together half of the time we're in groups so it was literally just me and her so we're just literally having a good time and then i think we went to that other stage the second stage at the back because una rams was performing and this one was just djs 
we went that side we watched and obviously at the time i didn't know una rams i knew him from twitter but i didn't know his music so we're just watching this vendor guy performing and we're enjoying seeing the music and the vocals and whatnot come night time oh night time guys oh what are the odds it was so nice so night time i remember i think we went back on stage because we had to keep track because i was like to my sister i don't want to miss so much Josie. so we had to keep track um yeah a lot happened i just can't pinpoint the exact um order of the performances but i know um because there was someone who performed that day who i forgot that that person is a good performer i just can't remember who it was and i really enjoyed that set i find after that person going in usho majozi and now we are at the back. Hey guys, also these screw screws, they are annoying because this one was starting to dance around me and my sister and he was just being annoying. So we started moving back. So we were, uh, but actually we also had to go buy drinks again before it got super full by the drink stand. So we went to go buy drinks again and then we stood at the back. Wange no Shoma Josie. Guys, Shoma Josie killed my thighs. She killed my feet. We were hukuring Nambia. We were... Yay, yay, when I, a lot of things. Yay, Fuchu, guys. We went off. Ah, so much was, no, that girl's a performer. No, so much was, so much was a performer, guys. We were losing our minds. Oh, oh, corner. Ha, ha. Oh, I spoke on myself. Wow. So we are like dancing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yay, yeah, yay, yeah, guys. <laughs> I was so for the day. If I had Pelani, I probably would have done this. Forms, aka, but not like exactly after show matches. Obviously, there's DJ sets in between and little performance there and there. aka, guys. It was literally when um that album Ayakino Anachi just dropped. What was it? Be careful what you wish for. Yeah, something along those lines, guys. Yo, aka, I nearly cried. I was screaming my lungs off like I was really close to tears. My sister was looking at me like, girl, are you okay? <laughs> but I was literally going off. I can't remember. I, I'll insert videos that I took that day. And guys, don't judge my quality because I was using a horrible phone back then. My dad only bought me a phone at the end of that year. So I was using, I think I was even using my sister's phone if I'm not wrong. Fine. So we're there having fun. And then I think aka, I don't you know the daddy daddy there yeah, yeah i even forgot the lyrics perform perform and then ak went backstage i think he was done me and my sister because we have the loudest voices and we are in front front there we are think singing bryston drive whoa 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 yeah 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 ah whoa whoa Ah, so we're singing piano. So I'm just living my life. So we're screaming our lungs off, and people at the back started joining us. And then what his guitarist and pianist did, they actually played the what is it, the tune or whatever, the harmony or whatever of the song. Did AK not come back? He came back. He's like, okay, guys, I'm not supposed to, but this is the last song I'm gonna say. Did he not perform Bryston Drive? <laughs> I'm like no for you. <laughs> Our voices are working over time. <laughs> so he's there performing. Guys, when he was singing present drive, I wanted to cry. That is literally you see that song, literally number one, aka song. With obviously Anati's there, that is my favorite, favorite, favorite song. That is aka. Then he stood, there was a speaker close to us, the audience, and me and my sister obviously were there. Guys, he was singing to me, <laughs> yeah, when he was rapping. And luckily, back then, I used to know the lyrics off by heart, so we were there serenading each other with Keenan. <laughs> No, guys, no, it was literally like I won't lie. I wish I had the footage, but I'll show you because in the video that I have, he's actually here. You can see what he's looking here, you know. So he's singing them. Oh, Bryson Drive finishes. And AK, okay, guys, one thing I will give to him before these things that he started doing he is a great performer. That guy, he's a great performer. 
let me stop rambling because yeah time okay fine after keenan comes in nasty c baby oh guys nasty c kills his performance like i feel like from aka nasty c were the great two openings before oh sorry before it's a frog so nasty c comes in Mm -mm, who's this now? What, what is this person sending me? Okay, I'll read that later. So, Nestisi comes in, guys. For those who don't know me, there's this song, AIK. It's called Good Girls Stay at Home. Yeah, Good Girls and Something. The nanny nanny on the phone. They are all there. Uh, 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 uh. I'll try to insert the, the title with. Let me find it. I was gonna play for you guys, but I don't wanna get copyrighted. My videos are always copyrighted, bruh. Hey, yo, as I'm shown. Oh, it's good girls and Snapchat. H. Guys, I used to love this song. So it was that one. So he was, put, first of all, there was this cute colored girl in front of me and my sister. So, man, there was a time between those two songs, there's a song he sang before and Good Girls. So imagine me, I am screaming my lungs off because I know the lyrics. And I'm screaming. Already I'm loud. So now I'm just extra loud. So Nasty C keeps looking at this side. Me and my son like, ah, he wants this colored girl here in front. He wants her. Uh -uh. But also I'm like, no, no man. Nasty C is looking here at us. We are locking eyes. I see he's not looking there. He's looking here. I know it was like, ah, man, I think he's looking at this, this colored girl. I find we keep singing, yeah, good girl, stay at home, yo. And then there was this Indian guy. We ended up chilling together with those people, like, they're singing together. So this guy is like, ah, man, guys, is Nasty C looking at you guys? Because I keep seeing him looking at this. I'm like, dude, this is what I said to my sister. But she says she's looking at that colored girl. He's like, mm -mm. he's definitely looking at this. Like, it's not a pair for me, good girl, stay at home. We were literally rapping to each other. Guys, I know you guys are going to think I'm lying, but we were literally rapping to each other. I mean, I don't to see. I wouldn't lie about that. I'm not a cloud chaser, but it was exciting for me, guys. I was rapping with this little young boy. And I can say that because he's a young boy to me. So fine, we perform. I mean, he's singing and sharp, 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 sharp. I could do in this DC. Now it's time for ASAP Work to come in. Bear in mind, guys, this Indian guy, or is it a colored guy that we were all chilling with and his screw screw friends? He said to me and my sister, Are you guys sure you want to be here when ASAP starts? And then me all along, I'm saying, No, let's go. When ASAP gets here, I don't want to be here because these screw screws are going to start a mosh pit. And me, I don't want to die. In a mosh pit, guys, I'm very claustrophobic. So I do not like anything that is closed around me, you know. So I'm like, no, I'm not. I was like, no, me, I want to see the performance. And obviously, I have my sister's phone because I have pockets. I have both my our phones. So I don't even know how I'm going to find her if I leave her there. So me and my papa, I stay. That guy's like, hmm, okay. Aesop Ferg comes in. Guys, did not, did everyone from the back not push forward already we were like a line a, the second line behind the people who are by exacted by the fence me and my sister we are literally behind those people we had to hold on for dear life my sister there was this girl bigger than my, my sister was tiny at the time and my sister had to hold on like this around that girl and hold the fence because people were pushing us guys <laughs> i'm so traumatized by that so Fine. It's a fag. Oh, fag. Ferg is performing. Fine. It's crazy. Guys, the squeeze squeeze kids. And guys, I'm not going to I'm not The energy, like everyone. So ASAP, there was a point where I'm not looking because now I can't see because I'm just holding on for dear life. My sister is tiny and the person in front of her again is tall. So she also can't see stuff. The only thing I felt was tight pressure on my hand and she felt it too much it who asap is standing on the fence and he's not standing on the fence he's standing on our hands guys <laughs> no man that day uh yeah about well, that part of the night it was not a nice one for me it was I, my, my my anxiety just 
So now he's standing there and everyone is trying to touch him and touch his hand. They're touching his legs. This one guy, guys behind me, I think there was a point where I just gave up. Because first I would push them or hit whoever is putting the arms around me or whatever. This guy went like this. Guys, he was close to strangling me. But he, I don't think he was aware that he was doing that. He was just in the moment of, I want to touch Aesop Ferg. I want him to touch me, you know. He had his arm around me. I am losing air at this point. <laughs> I don't know what says, look at Ukuku. Onolvoyo said the way I looked, I looked like I'm saying goodbye, girl. This is the end of me. So I had to remove that arm, that guy's arm from my neck. And we all had that, we both had that thought, should we go down? But if we go down, we want to get like trampled on and we're going to die, obviously, by the stampede. So Onolvo sees that inside, guys, I'm sitting like this. I've given up. But inside, like, you know, your sister will know you. She knew that I am freaking out inside. So we had to push, she pushed and pushed and pushed and we had to push past people. Guys, my band at this point is off. Like I'm looking like a mess because I was just like, girl, I'm gone. I am gone, gone. So we push, push, push to the side. I even saw this one influencer that I like, who Kendra Hansley. And I was like, oh, hi, Kendra. She's like, oh my gosh, are you okay? I'm like, clearly I look like death. If, even Kendra is asking, are you okay? And I was like, oh. I was like, I'm going to go and I'm and my mom's like, why are you feeling Because what am I gonna say hmm? to people? Oh, how are you feeling even tinu So I was just like, oh, luckily I didn't die, guys. I was this close. My breath was leaving my body, literally. I was probably gonna faint, or I, I was gonna go into something, a coma, and as guys. But that guy's arm was literally around my neck, and I was suffering. But the thing is, I was suffering man truly because I was so tired of fighting because. The bag that I had also, I worried as I fell in pics. I'm like, if it falls, we lose our personal stuff because we had money in the Tiko bag and Uber and our phones. And all of us like, we are going, one thing about us, we are going to the side. Oh, Questa was going to perform after ASAP Ferg. So we moved to the side. My sister's like, let's go get some air. So we go sit by the side there and these little boys, guys, to show that this, this event was full of little kids. These kids were in matric and they're like, yo, we're writing next week and we are here. But we're like, we're here to network because we are starting a business next year. It, it, and I was like, oh, shame. So cute, man. But then I got... Yeah. I was fine after that. Like, we got some air, got some water, and then I just let down my bun and I was like, okay, who's that? And then I was like, okay, let's get back inside. But after that, it was just Questa who was left, so... We went there, we, but we watched from the side. We didn't go back into the group because I was too traumas, guys, to go back in there. And I was like, Gunulvu, do you understand you are trying to kill me? They asked us, Uti, do you want to be here when Asap Ferg performs? I said, no, no let's go. Nulvu was like, no. I'm like, ah, this girl was trying to kill me. Nulvu is always trying to kill me, guys. That girl, she wants to end me, and I don't know why. Like, can you please comment down below and ask her, Uti, Girl, why use a mobula la umtana again? Because we could have literally watched from the side. No, we. Me, I follow one as a fag I perform. And we sing afar. But yeah, guys, that is how I nearly died. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the story. I know it's not, but yeah, it's just something I really wanted to tell. And I don't have a lot of story times because my life is really not that interesting. So I hope you enjoyed the story and see you in the next couple of videos that I'll be posting. And yeah, thank you guys for your support and for watching. Please, please comment. Please, I'm begging you. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'm coming back pretty soon, guys, as soon as inspiration hits me again. But see you soon, what again? And I love you so much. Bye.